Guys, get your name on the sign-up sheet now because in 10 years, we're all uploading our brains to computers. You do not want to be the one that is last for that. I'm Anthony for DNews, and a little while back we talked about how we could tell if our universe was a computer simulation and how we're working on our own computers to simulate our universe. Now that stuff is such a crazy long way off. So what about something simpler? What about building a computer simulation of the human brain? When are we going to be able to do that and what are we going to use it for? Well, one of the biggest projects to reproduce human intelligence is the Blue Brain Project, which was created by the Brain and Mind Institute of the EFPL in Switzerland. Now, what's cool about this project is that it isn't AI like you see in video games or the Turing test. It's not trying to approximate human thought. It's actually trying to physically reconstruct it by simulating all of the individual neurons in the human brain. Now, that takes a lot of computing power because every neuron requires the power of a modern laptop. And here's a fun fact, you have about 60,000 neurons in each of your cortical columns. Cortical columns are about two millimeters long and you have two million cortical columns in your brain, so you would need about 120 billion consumer laptops to simulate the human cortex. Now the Blue Brain Project uses specialized IBM supercomputers, but even with all of that hardware, they are still a long ways off. They're looking to boot up the robo brain in 10 years. So, once they do, what do they do with it? Well, there are a lot of possibilities. All of our knowledge and treatment of physical and psychological issues in the brain is very general. We're basing a lot of things on assumptions. We're doing a lot of hit and miss lab trials on people and animals. If we have a simulated human brain, we can mess with it as much as we want. We can see what happens if a particular synapse doesn't fire or what the imbalance of a particular chemical is gonna do. Hey, what happens if we just yank this bit out during surgery? You can poke and prod it until you see symptoms that are the same as medical problems. And once we know what causes something, we can better treat it. So there are some more out there uses projected on the horizon too. Once you've got this blank working brain, What's to stop us from transferring the contents of a human's brain into it? You know, you could save the minds of the particularly brilliant or creative and see what they could do with their mortality. Or maybe all the rich people want to put their brains in computers and live forever. What happens then? Also, if that computer brain is a perfect simulation of a human brain, should we be allowed to poke and prod it? What makes it any different from you or me? I wouldn't want anybody experimenting on my brain, so why do we get to mess around with old blue like that? Is there any difference between a brain created in a computer from scratch and a copy of a human brain that has been uploaded to the same computer. If the Blue Brain Project continues on schedule, these might be questions we have to start answering in the next decade. I don't know, how far off do you think we really are from something like this? Because I kind of doubt they're gonna hit that 2023 deadline. Let me know down below and subscribe for more D News.